Hey, Water Signs. Gratitude for being here with me. It's the Empress Chanel. Um, I just want to let you know. Take a look down in the description box. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Let's get to it. I'm going to do a little love reading for you. And actually... Hmm, should I do these first? No. I think I'm going to do... We're going to get straight to it with the tarot. And then we're going to get some um, messages from Spirit. Um, on my Instagram, I'm doing three yes or no questions tomorrow, um, starting at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be doing, I'm um, taking free um, yes or no questions in my DM on Instagram. So if you have a yes or no question that you want answered by the tarot or by spirit one of the um oracle ask me tomorrow after 12 noon on instagram <laughs> all right let's go what's love looking like for the water sign cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio pisces what's love looking like for the water signs <clears throat> okay, we have Ace of Wands, Fire Energy. We have Six of Swords. And we have the Empress. Okay. Six of Swords is Aquarius Energy. The Empress is Taurus and Libra. So you or your person may have that in your chart as well. Um, so hmm. so you've um you're about to start on a new beginning um you have someone who is definitely interested in you who sees you um in the empress energy you've just come out of um troubled waters rocky situation but it was spirit that led you through that so um you are looking to just start a start something new in this empress energy let me see what's going on here Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can you clarify this Ace of Wands, please? For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Please clarify this Ace of Wands. Somebody had to say goodbye. It was an emotional goodbye, but you got through it gracefully. That was something I was picking up. All right, please clarify this Ace of Wands. All righty. Ace of Wands. I, I usually sometimes just take all of them. <laughs> They fall out for a reason. Nothing is a mistake. Ace of Wands clarified by the Emperor, the Page of Wands, the King of Wands, the Tower, and the Wheel. Okay. So, yeah, a Tower moment definitely started a new cycle. Um, this is your new beginning right here. <clears throat> Let me see. Seems like you may have decided to Emperor's Aries energy um, and King of Wands is also Leo energy. So like I said, you or your person may have fire um, in your chart. Um, <clears throat> 
you may be just coming from a um, controlling type of situation. It was something that you just couldn't handle anymore. You didn't want to do. Um, so you decided to give yourself um, a way out, which was this tower moment. This tower moment caused a way out. You may have walked away from this person. Um, water signs. But definitely it was a tower moment and a new begin and a, you know a, another start on the karmic wheel which gave you your new beginning and you were the one who facilitated this by just taking action on whatever it was that you you know weren't finding fulfilling the emperor could be a parent it could be um you know an adult child uh separating away from the parent Okay. And we had the Queen of Wands was under the deck. I didn't show y'all that. I'm sorry. Um, I kind of just looked at it. <laughs> I'm so used to just, you know, doing stuff and just going with the flow. I forgot to be like, ah. But yeah, Queen of Wands was at the bottom of the deck. And you see we had the King of Wands that was out here in the spread. So you definitely decided to... It was almost like you had to make a decision to move on and either be with one person or go with whatever it was that your parents were saying. I'm getting that from some people. Can you clarify some more for the Six of Swords? I would like to clarify the Six of Swords. I see two already came out. We have Justice, Queen of Cups, okay, Libra Energy, Ooh. and Cancer. Page of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy, and we have Three of Swords, which is also Libra Energy. So, um, as I said before, you or your person may have Libra, Air, or um, Fire, Aries, Leo, um, somewhere in your chart. Um, but yeah, you're moving on to better things. Um, the heartbreak, it seems to be over now. Um, and you are uh, using your intuition and because I, I, I say that because the Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. Um, so you intuitively knew that you had to back out or leave from a certain situation or, you know, come into your own um royal like energy in order to um do what it was that you wanted to do with your heart you wanted to follow your heart so that's exactly what you did and by following your heart you know you thought it would cause heartbreak and it did a little bit but you see she's happy that's what I always point out about this card. She's happy. So yeah, there may have been pain. There may have been heartbreak because it is painful to back away from people, especially if it's people that's your family, that you really love, that you've grown up with your whole life, that you form attachment with. Sometimes it's unhealthy attachment. So, you know, when you do realize that you have to back away from that type of energy in order to protect your own energy, it's a good feeling when you get into that better energy, into that better space. But it also hurts that you had to leave people that you love. Especially friends and family. <clears throat> but you feel like you are walking away so you can find equality, so you can be free, so you can have the justice in your life that you need. So you can attract in what you were... Um, <clears throat> distracted before from attracting in to your life okay let's clarify the empress please for cancer scorpio pisces please clarify the empress for the empress we have the wheel again the emperor again so the aries coming back out all right and the wheel is can't remember right now um 
I think it's like Sagittarius. They, they associate the wheel with Sagittarius too, but it's like expansion or, you know, uh, growing, growth in your life, you know, coming into a new cycle so you can grow. Um, but you do have judgment here, King of Wands, like I said, Page of Wands. So you decided to go ahead and go out with your plans um, away from this emperor energy and start your new life and um, follow your spirit, judgment, okay? This person had a decision to make, either follow your spirit or stay where you're at. We have the Emperor and the Empress out here. So the Emperor, you are going to get um, your Empress. It could have been both parents, you know, because they are um, higher in rank over the King. Um, make the story as you will. Uh, it could have been um, one parent. It could have been you. Um, this could also be, you know, you Oh, separate from what we saw with the ace of wands whereas you <clears throat> empress and emperor you you find each other you start a new life together and you decided to follow your heart and go with this person and um you know you have you have control over your over over everything you know now you have control over your life and you can do what you want to do and love who you want to love and be who you want to be And both of you can be free. Look on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Cups. So water signs, you do have um, a new start coming. A new start coming after a rough ending. Okay. Um, a new start will come after a rough ending. But, you know, don't forget to take time to heal. I don't know why I'm shuffling these again. I am shuffling them for a reason. And this Nine of Pentacles popped out with two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So your wish fulfillment is definitely going to come in, okay? Water signs, two of cups is Cancer, nine of pentacles is Virgo, okay? But, um, so you are going to definitely find your wish fulfillment in this next new um, venture or love that you have going on. Um, you, were, you were completely right in following your heart. Let's get some answers from the spirit. Were they right in following their heart? Improving health. So yes, this was a, you weren't in a healthy situation before and um, you had to, you had to move on in order to um, get your mind right, you know, to, to get yourself right, to do what you needed to do. Okay. So yes, this was a, a good move for you. And this is a good move for you if you are moving on into this emperor empress um, relationship and you're, you're, it's, they're growing with someone in wealth and love and health and all of that all right let's get um, two more please spirit you have anything else you want to say to us if you believe i feel like that is saying if you have blind faith in that the spirit is <clears throat> moving that wheel for you romance you will get um you will get what you ask for. You will get your heart's desires. You will get what you love. Okay. Um, you all, you water signs are the signs of emotion, of deep emotion. Okay. Of, of, of love and, and everything that comes along with it. So yes, if you believe and if you put your blind faith into the divine and you just go about and walk in that energy and embody yourself in that energy, you will definitely um, improve on life. Um, health, wealth, romance, all of that. You will have abundance. You will expand and you will grow. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So that was your quick love reading for today. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I hope that you enjoyed it. If this resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to look in the description box below for my Instagram and my website and a free natal birth chart. All right, guys. Love you. 1414 on the timer. <laughs> Bye.